Hello guys and welcome back to some more Virtue's Last Reward. Last time we finished up the security room. Um, Sigma showed some symptoms of uh, radical sits. We did some snooping on the cameras. Well, we didn't get like any hard evidence. It's, we have a pretty good idea that Clover paid Luna. And now we're in the meeting room waiting for Dio and uh, K so we can start voting. Or start playing the AB game. But yeah, let's just get right into this. No one's here. Uh, sorry, one second. I was doing something with audio. Okay, should be better. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't paying attention. What did we yap to? Sigma, Omae wa ichi bo shito ni bo shito shirabete kure. Okay, we're looking for people. Okay. Got it. Nope, just those weird things on the wall again, man. You see them, we saw them in Gollum Bay, like these weird people things. They're creepy. Alice, Luna. The most horrible thing about death is how it turns a person into a thing. It's a thing that looks like your friend, but it's not them anymore. Just this strange, cold shell, and every time you look at it, you feel a little of that coldness creeping in around the edges of your soul. Seeing death puts a heavy ball of lead in your stomach that just sits there, poisoning you. I turned and left the room. Same. Same. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Nobody in them. Except, except Alice and Luna. The lead ball pressed against the inside of my abdomen. I leaned back against the wall and let out a long, weary sigh. Looking for the others. True. Fies, see, take, take notes, Sigma. Fies on the real grind set. Yeah, you're right. Fie turned and headed for the door at the far end. I heaved myself up off the wall and followed. Uh oh, music change. Not never a good sign. Who dare? Who dare? What the? Well, Tammy already has some blood on his shirt, so that's not good. The first thing I felt was that strange cold of terror, cold sweat of terror. Oh shit! They were probably chained up so they couldn't make it to the, to the chromatic doors in time. Oh, that's bad. My stomach clenched in protest, pushing a wave of bile and nausea up into my throat. The lead ball turned to ice, and my legs began to tremble under its weight before they finally gave way and collapsed. They were dead. I could feel it in the moment I looked at them, but I didn't want to believe it. They couldn't be dead. They look pretty dead. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps they were just sleeping. The cool, limp 
feel of their skin under my shaking fingers dashed any hope I had left. I wrapped a trembling hand around the end of the bed and hauled myself up onto it. Okay, well this... This kind... So there is someone malicious. It can't just be like... Radical sits. Because obviously someone handcuffed them. I mean, my gut says K. You know Dio might be able... I, I feel like Dio could do it, but my gut's saying K. It's probably not Quirk. I don't know why he would do that. He would just be like suicide, alright? Anyways, I wrapped a trembling hand around the end of the bed and hauled myself up onto it. Even when I closed my eyes, I could still see them. My heart hammered away at my ribs, and my chest felt so tight I could barely breathe. I forced myself to take long, deep breaths. Finally, I opened my eyes. What? Ah, oh, okay. Interesting. That's, yeah, we, we would have saw them. Right. That's right, I didn't even put that together. Yeah. I guess the partition was in the way. Obviously on purpose. They're handcuffed together. They would have been trapped here when the doors closed. Why? Oh, the wrists are gone too. Or not the wrists. The. Oh, wait, one of the bracelets. Wait, one of the bracelets is here, I think. Uh, okay. Yeah, Clover's wrist. So you're saying it wasn't one of them that did this? Oh god. There's a cut on Tenmyoji's left hand. It looks like the... It's probably from a knife or something similar. Must have been deep. Mm. You can see where the needles would have eject injected him. Oh, both of them are here. Both of the bracelets. The penalty. When the primary doors closed, they couldn't get to them. The needles in their bracelets activated and... Do you think that's why they were handcuffed to the sink? That's true, I guess. That's a good point. Didn't think of that. Yeah, you got a point. What's wrong? Okay. You find something? Fork? Maybe? Fai bent down to pick something up and handed it to me. Oh, quartz bracelet. Okay. A cyan bracelet. This was Quirks. Can someone just like take it and use it? Or do you have to use your own? Actually, I think you have to use your own, right? What is Quartz bracelet doing here? Wait, no, hold on. If Quartz bracelet is here, then that means he died. Bro, it ha- I don't know, man. Like, is it just K? Or is Luna faking death? <laughs> I don't... I, I can see Dio doing it, but I don't think he has, like, the balls to do it, to be honest. <laughs> no. No. This can't be happening. Not Quirk. 
アングルが外れているからといってクォークが死んでいるとは限らんだろうが I mean technically I guess not just needed to put his heartbeat to zero then take it off but A ray of hope? That's true, I guess. This seems very optimistic, though. You mean the bracelet came off before the doors closed? That's impossible. Dear Junior told us that they only come off when your heart stops or when you escape. Uh, right. He's got 9 BP. We would have heard it though. I think, don't they like do an announcement when it opens? Wait, so you're saying he escaped and then came back and left his bracelet here? No, that's impossible too. Dear Junior said the number 9 door only opens once. Even if he was able to get outside, he couldn't come back in. Uh, I mean, I think that's reasonable to assume he's dead. It, it's good to think he's alive, but you should definitely balance the scales to more that he is dead, I think. That's trippy. <laughs> really? So you're saying this is what we wanted to happen? Slapped. <laughs> oh shit. I wanted to ask if she meant Clover and Tenmyoji weren't innocent and had deserved to die, but swallowed my words. I mean, from what we know, they're pretty innocent. <laughs> Fighting wasn't going to help us. All I could do was hope that Phi was right. Perhaps Quirt was still alive. What are you doing? Good, good decision. Need all the tech we need, we can get. Why? What kind of clues? Yeah, but he didn't take it. With Quartz bracelet, Clover and Tenmyoji would have been able to go through the white doors. The killer handcuffed them to the sink to prevent that. Okay. Made sense. What's wrong? Huh? No, like, signs of a struggle? What? Oh, the spray thing. Luminous, right? Oh, that was close. Luminol. <laughs> what if, like, Tenmyoji found the person he was looking for by the spray, but then they realized and ganked him? And now you can't find it. Do you think the killer took it? Okay. Fi knelt down next to Clover as she spoke and began to gingerly examine her corpse. Then after a moment, I saw her hand stop. Okay. Careful with Clover's thighs. I remember we had a CG thumbnail for our uh, 999 playthrough and they and they deleted it. 
I think it has because it had Clover's thigh shot in it. Unlucky. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Sorry, what does it have? Oh, written on her thigh. What the heck? It's zero pounds, or it can be nine one ten. Or nine one zero, I should say. You flip it. Both of those don't actually make any sense to me right now, though. Kind of appreciate her drip a bit more. Didn't notice the bows on her legging things. <laughs> it's written in blood. It must be ten Miyogis. Oh, okay. Or what? I mean, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The clover isn't bleeding. Oh, zero one six. I thought that said zero pounds. Zero one six. I'm trying to think if that rings any bells. It doesn't. What does that mean? Zero one six. I'm trying to remember. Recently? I don't know. Hmm. Unlucky. I was relying on you five that time. Don't get my hopes up like that. Zero one six. Mm. Nothing is coming to my head. <laughs> I, I'm actually like trying to think of it. Can't relate it to anything I remember. Oh, I, it, it's kind of dumb, but it could also be Dio. Like, it's spelled like that. It looks dumb, but it's kind of, right? D-I-O? Dio? I don't know why she would write it like that, but maybe? Actually, wait. It, it, that'd be B-O, actually. But that's what, uh, that's what, uh, Zero Junior calls him in the English. <laughs> I don't think that would, like, work for the OG game. Probably not, then. Damn. Thought I just hit something brilliant. Zero one sits, huh? Maybe, but the only people who could have done it are K and Dio. Assuming it wasn't one of us, I mean. Fake Luna? Luna's faking her death. She's just chilling there, man. Classic East, East move. <laughs> I mean, the person who did this... Actually, never mind. I don't know. Damn it. This is hopeless. I can't keep up anymore. Dude, it'd be funny if it was K and K was just actually evil. And he was just playing the amnesiac role the whole time. That'd be hilarious. Everything here is a goddamn mystery. Like, what about that old woman we found? Hey, that's probably June. Who killed her? The movement of the AB room makes Luna seem the most suspicious. But when would she have done it? And we don't have a good explanation for why she would have wrapped the knife up in the handkerchief. And of course now Luna's dead too. So who could have killed her? And the footage from the security cameras paired with Dio's behavior makes Clover seem like the most likely suspect. 
But now we'll never know for sure. Alice's killer is a complete mystery. That one's radical sits for sure. We don't know what the hell zero one sits is supposed to mean. This is feeling like a locked ending, is it? <laughs> we don't have any idea where Quartz gone. What the hell does any of this mean? Who killed everyone? Was it Zero? Zero Senior? And who is Zero Senior? What the hell does he want? Why does this game even exist and why did they kidnap us and bring us here? While we're at it, where is this? What is this? <laughs> Dude, they're just like... This is hardcore audience projection. But this is like more questions than I even have to be honest right now. Mysteries, mysteries, mysteries. I feel like my head's about to explode. Please, Fi, give me something, anything. A clue, a hint, come on, you've gotta have something. Nah. <gasps> Okay. Okay, but how is that important? Well, whoever has it in their pocket obviously killed Temyoji. <laughs> also, they probably have shit on them. So they to test for blood? They just need to spray the bottle at whatever they want to test. No, wait, you're right. Luminol reacts with organic compounds and glows, but the glow is really faint. So, you have to turn off the lights? So you need to make it dark. Okay, yeah, close enough. <laughs> you have to turn off the lights in order to see if anything's glowing. Actually, correct. That would mean someone's in a dark room. The rec room. Huh? Oh yeah, I guess that's where Temyoji sprayed us. I mean, they could also be in the security room. You can turn off the lights there. <laughs> we never done the rec room, so. Anyway, let's go find this guy. Fi and I race for the door. We weren't sure what we'd find, but we knew where we were going. I had a feeling deep in my gut that whatever we found would be the breakthrough I'd been looking for. Run, run, run. Damn, I thought it was gonna be like a locked route when Sid was started asking all those questions, man. <laughs> Luckily, we're saved. Okay, let's see. Are we gonna see a dead D O N K? So everyone's dead. Then it's a party, man. And who knows what's happening? Look at that knight. He's jamming. No one so far. No, yeah, dude, I told you. I freaking told you, dude. Both of them died. I knew I knew that shit was happening. Now it's a true mystery. And you know what? They probably killed each other. Actually, wait. No, they can't. You can't really kill each other because what? This K got knifed in the back of the head. So if K stabbed Dio, then Dio. I, I mean, he can. No, because of the way it's po pointing. Not really. And obviously, it can't be vice versa. At. I mean, maybe. I don't know. It's very unlikely. Um. I don't know, man. It's hard to, like, predict stuff because radical sits is a thing to, like, add into the equation. But I'm really feeling like Luna's faking her death. I think that's the only, like, one. I Alice is definitely dead. Those two are dead. 
Like, it just has to be Luna. Or it's the old woman faking her death. <laughs> also, confirmed K is not a robot because his head is hella bloody, man. Unless one of these guys are faking their death. Who knows? Anyways, let's continue. It's a massacre. Everything in my head ground to a halt. Even after all I'd seen, a room full of corpses had a profound effect. It was such a ridiculous thought that before I could stop myself, I laughed. That laugh made me think, was laughter in this situation a defensive response designed to protect the brain from constant emotional bombardment? Probably. They say the, that right before an animal dies, it feels a moment of comfort. Right before death, the brain releases a huge amount of endorphins into the bloodstream. Pain is only a warning signal meant to help the body avoid death. But when death becomes a certainty, pain no longer has any use. In fact, that loss of pain can lead to incredible feats of the, on the edge of death. Let's say that two species of animal come under attack from some overwhelming force. All of them are severely wounded and near death. You know, I'm gonna enjoy this, but also like, you sure you should be monologuing about endorphins and survival, I, comforting of death effects of life <laughs> during this? But you know what? I, I love the little obscure trivia you get from this series, so I'll take it. I kind of knew about endorphins before, uh, mainly because of Baki, but let's see a little recap of it. Species A feels pain, but species B doesn't. The horrible pain felt by species A prevents them from moving, but they feel no pain. Some of species B will manage to drag their wounded bodies to safety and survive. As a result, species A is eliminated, and only species B manages to survive. This process of natural selection has been repeated for thousands, no millions of years. All creatures that walk the face of the earth are descendant from species B. I'm no exception. That's why I can look at a room full of corpses and laugh. The genes I've been given a million years of evolution have changed my fear into ecstasy. Okay, this is bordering cringe, Sigma, but I'll allow it, I guess. Because of, uh, because you're in shock. And this just means you and I are the only survivors. Oh yeah, Quark. Don't forget about Quark. Yeah, you're right. He is still out there. So would that mean he killed them? I mean, you said yourself that there was no way there was a 10th uninvited player out there when Alice was killed. Dude, it's so Luna. Or Kay's faking death and he just like smeared some of Dio's blood on his head because he's a freaking robot. Those are the two options I think right now. And we've also refuted the possibility of Zero Senior being the 10th person. There's no 10th person. The only people alive are you, me, and Twerk. That means... <laughs> That's a great point. <laughs> Twerk definitely couldn't do that. Alright then. Are you saying you killed them? <laughs> I mean, we know it's not us. So. That is true, though. She was right. After the end of the second round of the AB game, Fi and I hadn't been out of each other's sight. We'd gone through the white door, explored the security office, solved puzzles, all of it together. No, wait. There had been one time. One time when I wasn't watching. The few minutes in the security office when I'd rested on the couch. That's true. And we don't know how long we were actually out. We could have been out for a while. Could she have snuck out then? The rec room and the security office weren't that far away from one another. If the round trip took about a minute and she'd killed them in four minutes, 
then the whole thing would have only taken her five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes, huh? Just how long had I been out? No, that wasn't really right. I hadn't really been out. I just felt like everything was being fast forwarded, probably because my mental processing speed had dropped. I mean, true, but not for the reason you think it is. But how long had I been like that? It might have only felt like a few seconds to me, but it could have been much longer. You should have just asked her how long was I out. And where had something like mental processing speed dropping come from? Uh, hey, what you doing over there, Fi? Yeah. Find anything? The bottle? Okay. Oh? Oh, shit. It's the Alice knife. Mere midons. I don't know what that means. There's something engraved on the blade, too. Mere midons. Is that the name of the manufacturer? Same. It sounds kind of ancient. <laughs> yep. This is the knife that was stabbed into Alice's chest. So that's what D so Dio t stole the knife while he was snooping around in the room. Okay. Hmm. I think I've heard those numbers before. Ah! Wait. Wait, no. Never mind. I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, the knife. Right, 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 right. The knife wound in uh, the woman's heart. The old lady. That's. I, I just. I, I kind of assume, like, before. I don't know. So, so then, how did Alice get stabbed? We assume that it was Radical Sits, but where did she get the knife? I just. No, wait. She got the knife from, uh. From the wound. From the place. Right? Where she was investigating the blood. Never mind. Yeah, the side of the AB room. Yeah, that's it. When Luna scanned the old woman's body, those were the numbers it gave us for the wound. Those numbers describe the size and shape of the wound, right? So, if they match, then that means this knife was used to kill the old woman. I believe in your eyeballs. <laughs> Still, why does Dio have it? Yeah, I know that. What I mean is, why'd he take it? Protection? Did he want to destroy the evidence? Maybe he was the one who killed Alice. No, wait. Hold on a second. I'm getting confused here. Alice would have had that knife first, right? Yeah, she picked it up where she found it wrapped in the handkerchief next to the AB room. She definitely radical sits herself. So Dio took it from her and stabbed her? If that's what happened, why didn't he just take the knife then? Why leave it there for us to see, then come back and get it at later? I mean, we already know, man. <laughs> Right, he has another thing. What? Yep. I remembered. Yeah, 
We saw this before. I forgot where. In another route. Hey, this is that key. Oh, from the Dalim Bay. No, it was this route. We took this at Dalim Bay. I mean, we didn't take it. Alice took it. So Dio yoinked it from her. Dude, Dio knows this place, man. He's definitely... He was memeing. That's why he pushed so hard in saying Radical sits as fake news. He's from the era. We found it in the Dalim Bay. Didn't have any idea what it was for then, though. But Alice said it might be important, so she'd hang on to it, just in case. Dio probably yoinked it um, while he took the knife. Yeah. Oh, this is for Kay's head? Oh, nice. Wait, Kay's key? I mean, I didn't put that together. <laughs> Probably should have. What do you mean? Can we open K up? She walked over to K's head, knelt down on one knee, and pointed to the back of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's it. It unlocks the suit, right? Yeah, let's see. Before I had time to prepare myself, I shoved the key right into the slot and twisted. But... Nope. It's jammed because of the act, maybe? <laughs> Five grunts. Blessed. Why not? Mm, thanks, game. Cock blocking us from some bid info. You're saying it shorted the suit out or something. Okay. We'll try to remember that for next time. Do you think Dio knew that when he took it? <laughs> yeah, I was actually thinking that Dio could have just took everything off Alice. Because he does seem like someone who would loot stuff. Time to search K, maybe? So I guess we'll never know what his face really looks like. I wonder who he was. Yep, time for body check. She'd only been searching a few seconds before she stopped and pulled out something. Pulled something out of Kay's robes. It's gonna be the Lumino. What is it? Yeah. It, it made sense for K. If it's not Luna faking death, the Lantan, it made sense that K. K's like always a prime suspect for killing stuff. He's just like the one person in kind of a weird area where it's harder to like confirm that he's innocent. That's the one Tamyoji had. Then, then does that mean K was the one who handcuffed them to the sink? Why not? That's true. I guess. Damn it, Fi. Let us blame someone, man. That's right. They could have found... The pair could have found them. Or just K alone and took the spray. Hmm. Sigma. 
Okay. Are you going to check for a Lumino reaction? Okay. There's blood everywhere in here, though. Okay. Done. I don't see shit. What you see? Huh? The underside of his bracelet is glowing. What that mean? So there's blood on that? But why? Oh, did he yoink a bracelet from someone and switch it? We did give him Alice's bracelet, right? Oh no, we leave it to K. Well, Tenmyoji did say that he could find out who uh, Zero was with the spray. Is that supposed to mean Dio Zero? Then that leaves the old woman Alice and Tenmyoji. Hmm. Do you remember what Tenmyoji said to us in this room? I remember. Yeah, it was the other side too. I wonder why he was looking in that area specifically. Oh, maybe it was because someone, the old lady was supposed to play and someone killed her and took her spot. Maybe. We kind of had that theory like really early on, but... I always, you kind of assume it was K that theory went around, but what if like Dio just snuck, just yoinked the spot from the old lady? Do you think Tenmyoji had figured out that one of the bracelets would have blood on it? I mean, he definitely had. Hmm, I wonder which it was. I think it's the old ladies and someone yoinked a bracelet. That's my idea. New theory just dropped. What? Whoa, wait. Are you saying that Dio is Zero Senior? I mean, we've seen Zero Senior in a hologram. He was looking wrinkly. Minus Alex. Then who killed Dio? Another descendant of Species B. <laughs> don't, don't bring up your cringy stuff out loud. Nothing. Forget about it. Anyway, if Zero Senior was Dio, then... Oh, good one. Lol. It's freaking Luna, dude. Luna's memeing. Or Quark. I guess Quark's still running around. But I think he's dead, honestly, and it's Luna. Oh, what? What the hell is happening? That's impossible. Quark? Quark opened the gate? Run back! I know, I'm coming! 
You ready? Fast run back. Who opened it? Show yourself, Luna. Oh. One open door. No one went in yet. Damn it. There's no one here. Did they run off? Maybe it's a duo? And they wanted us here so their partner can stop playing dead. Hell if I know. How the hell did Twerk open the an A B gate anyway? Without a star key, he shouldn't have been able to get it open. True. But you didn't find one when you searched them. But didn't you find one? Well, maybe Twerk's a suspect after all. You shouldn't write him off just because he's a kid. Maybe he knows how to use a lancer and axe. <laughs> Bro, he's so tiny though. How are you gonna impale like, a full lance to Dio? into the wall. Oh, hmm. All right, let's go find them. Nothing. How on earth would I know where he might be? Do you know something I don't? No answer, just follow. Oh, floor B. Ah, the room Dio and K investigated. Little sneak peek. Of course. Besides, Twerk might be there. Ooh, trying to find this corpse, aren't we? All right, let's move. He's gonna be dead. There. So everyone said, "Oh, director's office." Oh, dope. We did. We did this. The door says director's office. So it's not a switch. It's not a switch like uh, before. So the white doors are probably gonna stay the same then. I hope it has one of those chairs. You know, the folding ones that say director on the back. I've always wanted to sit in one and say stuff like action or cut or double decaf chai soy latte now. Man's thinking of freaking a film director. Come on, bro. <laughs> yeah. Aren't you excited? Yeah, what if Zero Senior was there waiting for us? Right. Okay, I'm gonna open it. <laughs> Maybe we'll see the hologram again. Oh, was was that number part of that like code your senior gave us and like the route a long time ago? Maybe. Hey, a little. This is a little hint when you get to the director's office, showing you what to do. Huh. Chat the Ramba. That computer's been turned on. What the hell is this? Eating the sun is biting. 
It has a couple input fields for user and the password. Why don't you put something in? Beep. Good one. Sure, why not? I turned and headed toward a bookshelf, leaving me alone next to the desk. I felt compelled to stay and found myself staring at the screen. A lion biting the sun. A lion biting the sun. A lion biting the sun. Oh! Memento Mori, if the ninth lion ate the sun. Remember death. If the nine lion ate the sun. Ninth. Could, could this be the ninth lion? Then, maybe. Uh-oh. Memento Mori. I'm not fully connecting it together, Sigma. Help me with this. Remember death. Memento Mori. Who the heck is that? Remember death. That's a deal death we haven't seen? Memento Mori. Hey, that's fine. Oh, wait, maybe this is the death from, uh... Wait, actually, I have no idea. Remember death. Memento Mori. Remember. I don't know what he put together. Oh, wait. Remember Radical Sits? Maybe. What the heck? I don't remember shit! What the fuck? Are you kidding me? No shot. I don't remember. Sorry. I didn't get shit. It was no good. I didn't know what any... I didn't know anything. Oh, no. Oh, shit. I forgot it. I should have kept that shit on a fucking notepad, bro. That thing uh, the guy gave us a long last time ago. Zero senior. He gave us like a code, right? So I couldn't shake the feeling I'd seen an ID pass and password somewhere before. Well, this ending screwed. <laughs> oh no, dude. Are you shitting me? Was it the zero thingy? Well, save it. I want to look at the tree. Look at that fat tree, dude. Oh, we can't even go through because I don't remember the freaking ID. This is still locked, though. Remember Zero Senior gave us an ID? Bomb deactivation code. I'm going in. Hold up. I know we're doing a big run back. I just want to, like, put that shit on a notepad. I don't know if that matters, though. I don't think that's, like, the ID you're talking about. Uh, and yeah, skip.
Yes, you dumbass termites. Don't care. Don't care, don't care, don't care. Okay, give me, give me the code. Okay. Sorry. Uh, I'll call this the BLR sheet bomb password. B Q Z R G B Q Z R G J D X R Cool. Maybe that's the password they're talking about. Keep that shit down. What bomb? Well, okay, guess we're done now. Just wanted to do that. <laughs> okay, next time I guess we'll, we'll do this one. This is betraying Luna for no reason. And then we'll like, I just do this. What even is this? Oh, that's if you betray Luna right then. That's fucked up, man. Okay, anyways, thanks for watching. Pretty intense episode. <laughs> kind of anticlimactic. <laughs> since we cannot remember. Um, but maybe next time. But until then, peace.